A Make America Great Again flag seen flying outside the Long Beach Police Department headquarters this weekend is sparking outrage, even as authorities claim it was unauthorized. Rick Lozano live in Long Beach with details on just how that flag got there. Rick? Yeah, that's, uh, that remains the big question tonight, Susan. Good evening, everybody. We're across the street from the Long Beach Police Department headquarters building, and as you take a look at it from our vantage point anyway, you can see that the flagpoles uh, sitting just outside the building are obscured, at least in part, by some large trees. So it is somewhat understandable how something like this may have happened. But that's not enough of an excuse for Ian Thomas Malone, a transgender woman who is incensed that a Make America Great Again Trump flag was flown for parts of two days. The incident triggered even more outrage on social media, prompting this response from Long Beach PD. Quote, LBPD is an apolitical organization and does not participate in any political activity that promotes one political party over another. End of quote. The department explains that the city of Long Beach flag that normally hangs there was stolen and replaced with the Trump flag. Thomas Malone says that story simply is not believable. It's not at all believable that, that somebody just out of the blue, some pedestrian, came over there. This, the flagpoles are not accessible to the public. You'd have to climb up a very tall, very sharp fence that is angled to prevent this kind of conduct, it just doesn't make any sense. There's no way that somebody went to do that. I, I, it, if the police department cannot reasonably expect the public to believe this is oh, the work of some rogue vandal. Long Beach PD says it took a while to remove the flag because they simply hadn't noticed it. Thomas Malone says that's not believable either since he was here taking pictures of the Trump flag while members of the police department watched him. Now, that was yesterday, and still it wasn't until this morning that the flag was actually taken down, at least according to Thomas Malone. He says he's going to ask the city to conduct a full investigation because he believes that it was someone from within the police department who put the flag up there.